Is this the easiest way to model exclusive cases in C-Sharp? Let's find out. Imagine we are building a simple web application managing the backlogs of HR teams. In this application we need to model development teams, including their velocity and capacity. But our customer also wants us to include non-development teams that contribute to features like creating training material. However, these teams should be excluded from computations like cutline or burn down charts. The easiest way to model these different teams would be using a simple data structure with a boolean flag to indicate whether a team is a development team or not. But as the codebase grows, managing this design becomes harder. Every time we use this data structure, we would have to remember to check the boolean flag to handle the teams according to their type. To address this issue and following object-oriented design principles, we would switch to a more explicit design by introducing individual classes for each team type with a common base class containing shared properties. To keep this example simple, we will ignore aspects like immutability and constructor guards, focusing only on modeling the exclusiveness of the two cases. With this approach, our application logic APIs would either expect a specific subtype and safely access all available properties, or consume the base type and then upcast to a specific subtype to check the team type or to access certain properties. The major downside of this design is that adding new types can become tricky. While the code will compile without breaking, which might seem like a good thing, it also means that the compiler won't help us to find all the places in the code that need adapting. To solve this issue in functional programming like f -sharp, we would use discriminated unions to explicitly model an exhaustive list of all possible cases and then use pattern matching to handle the cases. If we introduce a new type in this design, it will be a breaking change because the compiler knows the exhaustive list of all possible cases and will complain where the new case isn't handled. This is also helpful for developers as looking at the discriminated union type gives the complete list of all possible cases, whereas with inheritance, derived classes could be scattered across the codebase. Despite all the functional programming features added to c -sharp in the recent years, there is still no native support for discriminated unions. But I recently came across an interesting library called the unit which makes adding discriminated unions super easy. Here's how it works. We install the library like any other Nugget package. We then create a partial record that defines our discriminated union. After that, we add a nested partial record for each individual case. To reduce code duplication, we define common properties in the parent record. Finally, we add the union attribute to mark it as a discriminated union. To use this team type, we use the match API. This requires dedicated delegates for each case. This way, similar to f -sharp, adding a new team would result in a compile-breaking change, which enables the compiler to identify all places that we need to update. Now you might be wondering how the unit library compares to for example one of a library which is definitely more popular, looking at GitHub stars and Nugget downloads, and which even looks pretty similar in terms of usage. However, Unit uses source generators to extend the compiler to generate dedicated APIs for our union. This has a couple of advantages. It generates union case specific APIs, making the code easier to read compared to the generic API names provided by other libraries. It also ensures that using the APIs of the union it's minimal to no runtime overhead because there's no runtime type checking involved. So what do you think? Is this the easiest way to model exclusive cases in C-Sharp?